Hey guys, it's Molly. Welcome back to my channel. It's rainbow day today. So this is number two in my uh, rainbow base series and it's orange. I'm not gonna lie, this one was actually pretty difficult to do. Trying to layer the colors appropriately, trying to find the right mix of colors that worked, even trying to find the right base color of orange was very tough. So I am hoping that this one turns out because I've tried it a couple of other times and it didn't. So I am trying to persevere and I'm hoping that this one will be great. So without further ado, let's paint. Okay, you guys, here we go. So this was the vote. This is the number two in the rainbow series with the orange base. Um, and this was the vote and I liked this vote. I do like this one. This was the second most vote. Um, but I'm, I think I'm going to keep with the silver and some shade of turquoise. I'm going to try to in each painting if it works. So this is the one you guys picked. So let me get the orange down on the canvas and I'll be right back. Okay. So I would really encourage you guys to, um, Use a little swatch like that to color test if you're wanting to try out some new colors. All right, so I'm gonna start, I've been really excited. Oh, quick, let me show you. So that was, if you guys can see, the other rainbow pour that I did. I don't know if you guys can see that. And I loved it, the red was absolutely stunning. I was really trying to figure out which orange to go with because I could have gone with a red orange. Um, I could have gone with a yellow orange. So because I went with kind of a, a, a brighter orange, I'm going to start with the, gonna, I hope my paints aren't too thick. When they sit in a puddle like that, sometimes they're a little bit too thick. Um, but I'm going with the um, magenta next to the orange because when I blow it out those colors shouldn't mix to kind of mud very much so I'm just gonna do a little bit of silver by the magenta then I'm gonna go with the purple then I'm gonna do the aqua and I'm using very small amounts here because a lot of times when I blow over and I get that big puddle in the middle, that's when you risk your, your painting cracking and I really don't want that. So I'm gonna finish this off, I think, with a little bit more magenta, silver. I want silver to be my, my predominant color on this one. And then maybe a little bit more aqua. I put the, uh, and so this was, it's not magenta, it's red violet, blue violet. Um, this is what, that one was Windsor and Newton deep turquoise and then Soho silver. Okay, maybe, I don't know, just one more little bit of magenta right there. Okay, I also debated pouring the orange around or just pouring it over, so I may just do just a little bit and that's it. Okay, I'm gonna pop my air bubbles. And don't forget to let me know what color you guys want to come next for the yellow bright base. All right, here we go. What? Did you guys see all those cells? Holy crap, that's cool. Okay, all right. Oh. I always start it on high. Okay, I'm gonna blow it out. Okay, so my orange base is a little bit thick and I don't like that. And I still have that same little pool of colors right there. So I'm going to, I don't like this part right here. So I'm just gonna scrape this one little part off. Pour some more orange right there. 
And I'm gonna blow this way just a little bit. Ugh, I liked everything else about this. Except I still don't like this part right here. And I don't even really want to blow anymore. So I may just scrape this part right here. And just leave it with a bunch of negative space. Let's see. Sometimes you struggle. And this one definitely, I thought about this one for so long trying to figure out what I should do here. All right, I'm just going to blow the, the orange back. little lumps left from my paint sitting there in the cup. You want to get rid of those. And now I think I'm going to take this and just kind of blow out just a little bit. Because the red one that I had actually has a lot of, oh, I'm stuck, I'm stuck. The red one that I have actually had a lot of negative space as well, so I'm okay with that. I just need to fiddle with this part just a little bit. See, I don't like that green color that's mixing with the orange when I blow a lot. I want the colors to sit on top. Okay, here's what I might do. It's really important to have your colors and your base, the right consistency. I do the same consistency. There we go. And a little bit more. And then the last little bit of orange that's in here. I'm going to blow that out. That's what I'll do. So I really like that part now. So now I'm gonna come over and I'm gonna fix this little piece right here. So I feel like really all it needs is a little bit more. So I'm gonna go with a little bit more magenta right here. Silver. deep turquoise and then silver oh did you see that little bead of silver roll right there okay so now I'm just gonna blow this out right here Okay, I really like this composition now. Like, I really like it. I think I got my hair in this right here. <laughs> I'll know when I go into the bathroom or when I watch the video. I can always see it. I'm just gonna blow that out right there. And same thing, let me see if I have any of this orange left over right there, because I'm just gonna come right through there and blow that part off. Okay, 
Okay, there you go. It took me a little bit to, to get there, but I really like this composition. I think it's gonna go nice with the red one that I did. Um, yeah, only part I may fiddle with is just right there because that, let me, here, I'll take you down and I'll show you what I'm talking about. By the way, it was definitely my hair that was in there. <laughs> um, so see when, when it's sitting like this and I can already see kind of that jagged little space right there, I'm going to have to blow that a little bit because that will end up like a crack or like a, um, there'll be like a crevice there where the, where the orange is coming through. And I don't want that for this composition. So I may blow that part out, but otherwise, let me move my stand. There is that amazing middle. Oh my gosh. And I'm not gonna lie, I tried this, I don't know, like three times, and I could not get the color composition, the color, the composition, I could not get like anything right. I was so sad <laughs> at myself, but I just kept trying. The part that I love the most, and I showed a picture in my um, on my uh, group as it was drying and I loved that part but the same thing that I told you that happened right here happened on another space and I ended up blowing it out and I ended up completely screwing it up so yeah that one went to the painting graveyard so hold on one second maybe I can show you Okay, so that was my favorite part, and you can see it dried. It dried gorgeous. I mean, the silver is really pretty, but I didn't like what happened here, and you can see it kind of pulled off the sides. The paint was a little bit thin, and here you can see it cracked a little bit, and it's just because I had way too much paint under here. Let me see if you can see. No, you can't really see, but that there was a big thing of paint right there. But that was my favorite little section. So that was that went to the graveyard along with a couple of other ones. But this one I love. So please keep your fingers crossed that it dries well. And I will show you guys the final result. All right guys, so I wanted to show the two pieces together. My lighting is not the best, it's kind of overcast, but it actually gives the perfect um, kind of what the colors actually look like. But there's the two of them. I can't wait to make the yellow one. And then I'll have to figure out how I'm gonna place them all. But let me see if I can get you in that silver. I'm so glad I'm using the silver. Oh, I can't get you the details that well in the lighting. Let me see if I can get you in any closer. The details in it are stunning. I really, really like it. I like the composition too, a lot. So you guys can let me know what you think. There's two of them. I have got seven more to go. You guys let me know what colors you're thinking for the yellow and then I'll test a few out and see. But yep, that was the red. Here's the orange. And thank you guys for watching. Happy painting. Bye.